Hello everyone, Penguin Sal here again today, and we are back with another demo from Steam's Bullet Heaven Fest, an event that is currently going on that's highlighting all of, a whole bunch of cool games in the Bullet Heaven genre. There's a whole bunch of demos and things to check out, games on sale. Highly recommend checking it out. As you know, as a fan of the genre myself, this has been a really cool opportunity to check out a whole bunch of new and exciting upcoming games. We're going to be diving in here to Simodents. I'm thinking that's what it is. I don't think it's Simo Dance. I don't think there's... I think it's one word. I think it's Simodence. Don't know that for a fact. Don't know anything about the game. But here we are with an opportunity to highlight it. So let's take a look. We are going to play on Miragora because it's the first one. And we haven't played it yet. Select a mode. Classic Endless Brutal Mayhem Adventure. Well, classic's all we have. And that's what I would do anyway because it's the first one. Are you ready to become the savior of the advanced civilization or succumb to the geometric onslaught that threatens their very existence? Map bonus is plus one item. I don't know what that means. We can hold an additional item. We start with an additional item. I'm not sure. Classic is battle hordes of geometric foes while striving to achieve victory within a challenging time limit. Okay. We will play classic. Boom. We have the Chrono Piercer and the Devastrixel. Well, we're going to play with the Chrono Piercer because it's first. Chrono Piercer, a heavy machine gun tearing through enemies with unparalleled precision and speed. Four rounds per second seems pretty good. Max of two penetration starts with zero. Our starting bonus is 10% weapon damage. Love it. Live it. Love it. Cover girl. Okay, so maybe this is the item that we start with because of the map bonus. Vortex Edge Enhancer. Okay, so plus 20% critical damage, plus 5% lifesteal chance, plus 10% critical damage, and 5% weapon fire rate. I like weapon fire rate always. Okay, so we do, we're auto aiming. We look like a cool little turret. Is this a wall? No, it is not. Okay, we're a fun little turret. Okay, okay. I can see what we're going for here. I'm digging it. Let's see. What the heck am I looking at? Show on level up. So I can level up my weapon. Is that what it is? So increase the damage, increase the firing rate, or increase penetra penetration. I would like penetration. Oh, I can't do it yet. So it's got to be damage. Looks like we have to get there, maybe. How about rate of fire? Bang, 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 bang. Penetration now? No. Oh, is that we need five points to do it? Is that what this means? Uh, how about rate of fire again? Boop, 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 boop. We were at four per second. I think we're at about five per second now. Which seems pretty radical. Okay, we're getting some early upgrades. I like that. Okay, I'll take a damage here. Increase by 13 damage. We went up from 68 to 81. Seems like a pretty good jump. I like that. That looks like a big experience. Okay, so we have two. So I guess the question is, can I back out and save up five to try to get the penetration? I think the answer is yes. I'm going to try that. What is this? Fervent Surge. I think that's it feels like a movement speed upgrade. Like, as they start getting more enemies, I feel like some penetration would be cool. Enhance, enhancement module deployed. I'm coming. I want to get a little experience on the way. So what is this? Okay, this gives us a this. 10% fire rate, 1.5% lifesteal. That does absolutely nothing. I'm guessing it's not nothing. I'm guessing it's like, oh, if you have a bunch of inhibitors, it does something. I will take fire rate, though, because inhibitor thing sounds like... What? Okay, so we're we at four. Okay, one more, and I think we can garner some of the penetration, which I would like. Like I said, in any of these games, anytime we can get penetration on a gun, I almost always take it because it's essentially a form of AOE. I like our experience bars at the top and also around us. I'm okay with that. Okay, so this will take five, but now we pierce a little bit. 
I think there's value in that. We have a chrono shield, a weapon cache detected. I'm coming. Hey, what's that? One. Oh, we got a free upgrade point? Hell yeah. Okay. I want to increase my damage a little bit because one shot doesn't kill these guys, it looks like. Okay. Oh, so I get a second gun? Is that what this is? We can have a second weapon. Or we can get whatever a chip is and an upgrade point. I'm going to take a second gun and see what happens. Oh, we have two now. Oh, you guys are bone now. Holy, okay. I wasn't expecting that, but I love that. That's pretty cool. We're double tank now. Okay, we have to we have to buff them separately. Interesting. Okay, I need to I need to get this one buffed for sure then. Let's get his damage up. Buffing them separately is an interesting concept. I was not expecting that. I think that it's kind of not bad. Give me all the stuff. Give me all the juice. Okay, we got two. I would like your damage to go up. I'd like your fire rate to go up. Oh, enhancement module thing. Hey, all you guys get out of the way. Okay, I'd like you guys to be as close to equal as possible. I'd like the same fire rate. Like I said, I feel like I I'll like this more if these are... If they're similar. Not one is really powerful and the other sucks. Okay, I would like... I'll take XP modifier. That seems great. I think we're still relatively early. Oh, there's a timer on the left. We're about three minutes in. We killed 350 guys. I was curious. I don't really know what the objective is. Uh-oh. Scary triangles now. I saw that. Chrono shield. Destroy. Because they shoot together, we essentially kill these guys in one shot, but not exactly. Okay, because this guy doesn't have pierce yet, but I think I will get his damage up before I worry about that too much. Because the one has it, it's not as bad. Because we can still get some pierce in. Okay, let's put you at the same damage. So at the same damage and the same firing rate, just the one doesn't pierce. Do I want to save to get him pierced? Probably, right? I feel like I probably do. Let's see if we if we end up struggling at all. So I'm going to hold on to these points. If we need them, we can put them into damage and fire rate. But I think we'll be able to hold out to get the second one to pierce. Danger increasing. Danger increasing. Ah! Bring it on, Triangle. Give me something sick. 250 max health. Crit damage and weapon fire rate. I would like... Oh, that's our experience. I was like, I was like, I don't remember ever getting hit. We haven't been hit yet, so I'm not worried about that quite yet. But they did just say the danger has been increased. Okay, I want to I wanna get penetration on that. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is that? Whoa. Whoa. I would like to get these guys damage up. In case these guys have 100 health, then we're doing 99 damage. I would like to get that up. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. Uh-oh. We're about to be hit. Okay, fine. I'd like to get each of your damage up. Ouchers. Inferno Barrage! Give me a Chrono Shield. Do I still get killed? Not sure. Okay, I'm going to hold out. I think we can hold out. Oh, there's a thing down here. Come on, no whammies here. Something cool. Oh, that's the Devastrixel rocket launcher. I don't want... That's the, oh, that's the other starting weapon we have. So I would rather not see it yet. I'd rather not see it yet. I want to save it for when we play a run with that. That's going to hurt. Ow. Did we just die? Okay, I, I guess I can't worry about that thing's pierce right now. Let's get this third thing some power. I gotta take the lifesteal thing if we see it. If we get the chance for the lifesteal, I want that. Because otherwise, I don't think we heal normally. 
Okay, and we run into a lot of things. Okay. Give me a life steal. I would take a life steal right now. Hey, get out of here. Clown. I would take life steal. 5% life steal chance? Oh, or one. Okay, that was life steal value. I see. Okay. I will take 5% life steal chance. Is that a second one of those guys? Okay, I need your fire rate up. Yeah, I really want Pierce. We don't get that many upgrade points, though. So for that to take five, we can't really afford to hold it. Oh, that's the magnet. That would be nice to get. You guys in your damn that. I thought I almost thought they said there was a dash. Maybe I was wrong. Our damage output is wavering. Ah! I feel like our damage output is, is wavering. We can't get close enough to those guys to hit them. And because we auto-fire, we never shoot at them because we're not close enough. Oh, we are so dead. We are so damn dead, man. Run! What happened to my 5% lifesteal chance? Where's my lifesteal? Okay, 5% lifesteal chance feels like we should have hit somebody once. We did not steal a life a single time, it didn't look like. Life... 5% lifesteal chance seems like 1 in every 20 hits we should get healed. That super didn't happen there. So I'm a little confused by that. What do we got? What the hell is this? Okay. So we have like a skill tree. What do we got? Swift maneuver. That gives us movement speed. Okay. XP modifier is fantastic. Damage is cool. Max health. Okay, well, I definitely want XP. Bang. Um, bang. 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 We have no upgrade points left? Okay, we have 60% increased experience gain, though. That's always the thing I upgrade first. That is will always be the thing I upgrade first. Okay, let's go again. Okay, I'll do the second planet. Oh, we can't. It's locked. We'll do the first planet. Just kidding. I wanted to do the first planet anyway. Okay, we'll try We'll try the Dev of Strixel this time. So this was 10% damage increase. This is plus 500 max health. 2.6 rounds per second. One blast radius. We will try the second gun. Because it is available and we'd like to see it. Okay, let's see. Picking an upgrade point grants one upgrade chip. I'm not sure I understand that. Plus 10 armor. Killing a boss grants plus 20 health regen for 5 seconds. We didn't kill the boss very much. Picking an upgrade point grants one upgrade chip. I'm guessing that's good. I don't know what it means, but I'm guessing it's a good thing. Okay, our fire rate's much slower. I see that. I'm guessing this won't have the pierce option. It probably is going to have blast radius option, right? Yep. Quite right. I would like fire rate. Okay, so blast radius is the upgrade, and that only costs three. I do think that was a big part of the issue before, is we didn't get... I'll take some damage. We didn't get the piercing on all the guns. And this game has essentially, from what we've seen so far... It has no AoE. Like, this gun seems like it'll have some AoE. I'll take some firing rate. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold for blast radius. Let's get a blast radius. What is this? Oh, that's my upgrade item, I think. It's like picking an upgrade point grants us a chip or something, whatever the heck that means. I'm thinking the chips are the meta progression currency. But I don't know what picking an upgrade is. I'm assuming it's not every single time we upgrade, because that would be insane, right? Okay, give me my increased blast radius. Try to get a little bit of AoE in here. Because there ended up being a lot of enemies pretty close together before. Um, I'll take fire rate. Now we're real fast. I'll take damage on the next one, probably. 
We love enhancement modules. Get out of the way, chumps. Get out of my way. Come here, you. What have you for us? I would like XP. I pretty much always take XP if I can get it, especially early. Because it'll become insanely valuable. I will take damage here. Inferno Barrage. Die, Battos. Die. Like, the Radius does seem to do some damage. It seems to do the same damage as getting hit by the gun. I'll take damage here. So, like that. I mean, when they're together, they do take group damage, which is pretty good. Because we didn't have any of that before. Weapon cache? Are going to let me have a second gun? The interesting question will be, is it better to upgrade one gun a lot? Or keep them even? It seems like even is good to me, but I don't know. Okay, I don't want a Chrono Piercer. I will take a, a this. I know what you're thinking. You need more damage. Take a second gun. Hmm. Let me think about it. No. Give me more blast radius. Get bangoed, turd. Also, it's possible taking that upgrade point granted us that chip because of that special item we have or whatever. I will take some fire rate. Like, we had a thing that says if you take an upgrade point, you get another chip or whatever. So I'm guessing that's what it is. If we take that from the weapon thing, we get additional meta progression, which I'm okay with. I'll take damage here. Let me get some of that XP from you guys. While we have some weak guys here. I'll take the speed. Give me some big damage. I wish I had the speed boost all the time. That speed tastes good. What have we? Lifesteal value? That or magnet range. I will take critical damage and weapon fire rate. Okay, we do over 100 damage per shot now. Which seems to melt these guys pretty good. While we're still on these weak guys. I don't know. Once we get to the triangles, we'll see. We're at two, so I'm going to save for the next blast radius. I'll save for the blast radius. Oh, when we find one of those on the ground, it now gives us a chip. That must be what that item does. That's insanely good. It gives us meta progression pieces. I feel like that's insanely valuable. Okay, give me blast radius. Give me damage. Nice try, triangles. You think shapes can stop me? I too am a shape. I am a hexagon. You should fear me. I mean, the AoE helped clear out like the masses a bit. We need more damage to kill these triangle dudes. Which means I will take some more damage. Die, triangles. I mean, the blast radius thing is nice. Uh-oh. The danger has been increased. Oh, but an enhancement module has been deployed. Get out of the way. I have a cursor, but I'm not sure why. Because we're auto-firing. Maybe we can not auto-fire. I'm going to take critical chance here over at XP. Well, because I don't know if we actually... I don't think we have a base critical chance. I'm thinking we don't. Also, I don't know how to aim at this guy. I don't know how to hit the boss. I have not figured out how to hit the boss. We can't really get close enough. And we auto-aim at the closest guy. And because he fires a laser, we can't really just sit there. We can't really just sit there and let it happen. So, I'm not, I'm not sure how to fight them exactly. Please go away. That's it. I'm taking the second Devastrixel. I don't know how much value it's truly going to add. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna make the one really strong. Okay. I hate the laser, man. F up. Yeah. I don't know how much value it truly adds to get the second gun. Like I don't know if it's better to just upgrade one. Probably not, right? We probably... 
I feel like we need the second one to add some value. Okay, you guys can chill. Like, that's the only thing. Because the upgrades are se are s separate, we can't overpower our one gun like we'd like to. I hate these lasers, man. Why do they summon a second one, man? I can't even figure out how to fight one, effectively. I can't get that close. Okay, our fire rate's not that fast, man. I need to get out of the way. We're faster than that thing goes. We move faster than we can kill the guys in front of us. Hmm. I still... I don't know if this works. Maybe we have to actually kill? Okay, this is really bad. Oof. Get out of the way. Like, I don't know if it's one out of 20 enemies killed. But I want to just see our... When we have a 20%... We have a 5% chance. Which should mean 1 in 20 enemies hit or killed grants us some health. I have yet to see that actually be the case. Like, we haven't gotten any lifesteal. We are dead, though. You know, I really like this one conceptually. I, I, it seems hard. Like, you get, like, a lot of... Yeah, I really don't know if the second gun is actually better than just juicing the one. I think part of the issue is, like... I mean, this has the blast radius thing, but otherwise we don't have, like, other attacks doing any sort of AoE or anything. Which seems, like, kind of... Eh. I know what you're saying. Put some points in other stuff. That costs four, so I guess I'll have to. What was it? Movement speed and health and this? Okay, I'll give you each one. I'll give you each one. How about that? Okay, but this was our first look at Simidance, I'm going to call it. It could be Simo Dance, but I don't think it is. Simidance. This, uh, this is a demo that is available during the Steam Bullet Heaven Fest. That, as of this recording, is still going because it goes until November 20th. So I hope you'll consider checking this one out. If you like what you saw, feel free to like the video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really does go a long way to helping us continue putting out all this cool content and showing off some of these games you may not have seen before. We do post three videos a day. So if you stick around, I hope you'll find some things that you enjoy. I appreciate you guys watching this one. I'll catch you in the next one.